Girlfriend does not want to work and on the verge of breaking up. I, 27M, have been with my girlfriend, 23F, for two years. We moved in together within six months of being together. Girlfriend was still in college when we moved in together and she worked part-time and her parents paid her college expenses and insurance. I paid all the household bills and she would buy groceries sometimes. I never gave her money directly. During COVID two things happened she graduated college and she quit her job. She told me she did not want to work for a couple of months. Her degree is in the medical field and she could have had a job waiting for her after college. I viewed this as an orange flag but went with it. I made it very clear that I was only okay with her taking two months off. I was not comfortable supporting her completely and she had to get a job. Also after she started working in her career field she needed to contribute to the household expenses. I said I could cover the rent but she would need to pay 50% of the other household expenses and she agreed. Her parents were upset with her quitting her part-time job and now will only cover her medical insurance. I have been looking for a house to buy. I had been saving for a down payment for three years. I wanted to live in a particular area that is very expensive so I have been waiting for the right house to come on the market that is in my budget. A few weeks ago there was a house with a big yard that came on the market that was older and need some love and the owner was very motivated to sell. I put in a bid and it was accepted and it's under my budget. I could not believe it. My dad is a contractor so I know how to remodel a house. While my STBX was on a break from working she would tell me how much she loved being able to take care of, our, home. She kept the place clean and I would come home to home cooked meals and that was great but I told her she still needed to find a job. She never did this kind of stuff before and I don't believe for one second it would be permanent. This also brought up the subject of marriage. I told her I was not ready. I also told her if we had kids and she wanted to be a stay-at-home mom that was fine but as soon as they were in kindergarten I expected her to go back to work full-time. This is just me but I always knew I would only marry someone who was career-oriented and independent. I thought this was my girlfriend but she seems to have lost total motivation. I expected her to have a job lined up and have some sort of start date March 1st since she graduated last December. I found out she has not even applied for any jobs. This is not at all a unrealistic expectation given the career field she has chosen. I was really upset that she did not have anything lined up. She acted like she did not do anything wrong. I told her I was not her daddy and as a grown adult she needed to contribute to our household and cooking and cleaning was not going to do it. She needed a job. I told her I gave a notice where we currently live and we have to be out by March 31st. I also told her if she did not get a job she was not moving with me to my new house. Otherwise she could move back in with her parents. I did not break up with her but I was no longer going to support her. I have reminded her 3x that if I do not see an offer letter she will be back at her parents. Now to the present she came home crying that her parents will not let her move in unless she can pay rent for her old room. They want $800 per month and she needs to pay one-fifth of all the household bills and will have to do chores like any other roommate would. I knew they were mad when she quit her job but I did not realize how much and now have a point to prove. She was acting like she was on the verge of a panic attack but it came off as so fake. She asked me what was she supposed to do that her boyfriend and parents were willing to throw her out in the street. I told her to grow up and to start applying for jobs and she was really working my nerves with her childish behavior. I reinforced she was not moving in with me but I would give her $1,000 to give her parents for some breathing room while she looked for a job. The little fit she threw really turned me off. I don't feel ready to break up with her yet but even if she gets a job at this point she will not be moving into my new house. I told her as much and she stormed off. Am I being too harsh? She needs to stand on her own two feet even if I can afford to support her. I need strangers on the internet to tell me I am doing the right thing. Her friends are acting like I am some sort of greedy miser. But she wants more dinero just to stay at home, well my friend. You gotta say I won't pay, I won't pay. You are not being too harsh at all. You have communicated clearly your expectations, why it is important, and a deadline that you will not let pass. She has ignored all of these and I have no idea what she is thinking will happen. If it were me, I would be prepared to dump her on March 31st. If you decide to give her the $1,000, give it directly to your parents. I'd advise breaking up. I'll be straight with you. Your girlfriend doesn't want to work and is attempting to manipulate you into letting her stay home and play house. That's what the tantrum was about. You want a partner, not a sugar baby. 
I would strongly reconsider this relationship if I was you. She's shown her true colors. Run. Dude, she has already given you so many red flags, don't ignore them. Obviously even her parents know that she doesn't want to work which is why they have had such a reaction. If you marry her, you will be supporting her forever. I would have to cut her loose. And that's not materialistic, it's recognizing that you don't have shared career ambition and financial goals and that's a big deal. Don't let her move in. If her own parents, the very people who brought her into this world, aren't willing to put up with her acting like she's owed a free ride then neither should you. And if she does get off her backside and gets a job she doesn't move in until she has been there at least 12 months. My guy, if you break up with her now you can save yourself $1,000. Don't give her $1,000. You realize you're about to pay her to live with her parents right? Just dump her. People need to be self-motivated. You won't be able to play a game of musical chairs with her living arrangements every time she gets lazy if you end up married to or impregnating this girl. No, not being too harsh. It's reasonable to want a partner who's ambitious and wants to work, and if she doesn't then why stick around to resent her and pay for her life? It sounds like her parents are no longer putting up with her BS, so you shouldn't either. Stay firm, don't enable her. As someone who married man who doesn't want to work I say run. She won't change, she will keep trying to stay home no matter what. She will be quitting jobs for this or another reason emotionally blackmailing you in attempt to make you pay for her stuff. Seems like she just wants to stay at home and be supported by her husband. As someone who graduated this past December, and started working in the medical field on March 1st, she should be super excited to get a job. She must have worked for four years trying to get her medical degree, so now she doesn't want to get a job that she spends so long working for? It just sounds like she's trying to manipulate someone, whether that be you or her parents, to support her 100%. Super childish. Parasite fails to latch to host successfully. Hats off to you king. Fear the unexpected pregnancy. An orange flag? That was a red flag that was on fire, and it was in your colon, with flames shooting out your butt. It was a raging butt fire. I don't know how you didn't notice it. Is your colon fire retardant? Just break up now. Why delay the inevitable? I think you are being harsh. You tried reasonable. You tried patient. You tried communication and healthy, as in out loud and very clear, boundary setting. She ignored all of that. Unfortunately, it seems she will only hear harsh. Her parents seem to have realized this too. Try not to feel guilty, friend. This may just not be a match. But only you can decide that. Good luck. Congratulations on the house. You are doing the right thing unless there is additional pertinent info you are not sharing. You want a partner with equal status and that is just fine. It doesn't sound like you two necessarily have the same goals, at least at the moment, so that is something to consider. Additionally, the threat of homelessness isn't even causing her to take a second look at her choices. She is blaming others for her self-made problems. You have given her plenty time, money, and other resources. It sounds like she needs space to grow up now. Change the door locks on 4 over 1 and have the sheriffs escort her to pick up her stuff. You're not being too harsh at all. What does she expect? That you'd be willing to just support her for all eternity when you want someone who contributes financially and has drive. You guys have never discussed that type of arrangement since you said you thought she was more career-oriented in the beginning, and it's unfair to spring that on you. In my relationship, we have a similar dynamic when it comes to money, but I would never allow my partner to financially support me after I graduate just because he can. I believe that it's up to individuals to pull their weight and contribute what they can. Also, what happens if we break up? If something happens to family? No one can support her forever and she needs to learn how to survive on her own for her sake. She's trying to mooch off you she don't even sound like she brings much to the table, I would have broken up with her by now. Not being harsh. Although I would reconsider not breaking up with her. If she gets a job, how long do you think she'll stay with it? She could be living in your house and quit or get fired. Also, you saw her reaction when she came crying to you after her parents gave her their demands. If you stay with her, you'll hear it again, and again, and again. Sounds like she needs a sugar daddy and she's looking to you to be the sugar daddy. You should immediately break up with her because this has been going on for some time and let her sort her shit out without you. She's just mooching off you and if you want none of that, you should dump her ASAP. Maybe she didn't actually finish her degree have you verified that? I would definitely think that a person finishing a medical degree would want to be working in that medical field. 
Or let's say even if they became disillusioned about that career but having finished a college degree they can definitely leverage that into other jobs that at a minimum require a college degree. Anyway keep trying to figure out what happened. And what you want from her I don't know if it's worth ending the relationship yet even though you do call her your soon to be ex but there may be a way to figure this out and resolve it. Break up with her. If you want someone independent and driven, this is not your girl. I would never feel comfortable allowing my boyfriend to pay for my rent and give me money. She needs to get her life together. Her parents realize she needs some tough love to give her a reality check and get her off her ass. Don't enable her lazy behavior. Leave. She wants another dad. She can find that just fine with someone else. This relationship is toast. She seems to think she is a Disney princess and it's your job to bust your hump and slay dragons all day. She has done nothing to use the education her parents funded for her. I get wanting Tobe take a short break between graduation and beginning an actual career, but she's milking it. Time to drive the last nail in the coffin. God, I hope she isn't a mortician. If her parents are ready to throw her under RHE bus that's a clear signal for her to get her ass in gear. I hope you are using BC, she might resort to getting pregnant to swing things back her way. Keep your dick to yourself until then cause that's the next desperate attempt in the works. She must be ridiculously hot. You're calling her your soon-to-be ex. Do her and yourself a favor and break up with her now. The way you wrote about her makes it clear you're done. You don't have anything nice to say about her. It seems you've done the emotional labor of breaking up with her in your mind already. She may not be compatible with you. I've had friends whose life goal was to become a housewife. They went to college and had a careers that they worked hard for. But the second they got engaged, married, had a child, they would quit their jobs sometimes without giving notice to their so. Not to say your girlfriend will not turn around and be the way you want but with her tantrum and way of thinking, I think she's always going to have periods of unemployment. You will have more obligation once you are married to her or when you add children to the mix. Break up and don't give her any money. She's an adult and needs to look after herself. She's trying to manipulate you by throwing tantrums. You sound pretty ready to break up with her. What's the hold up? I do think you're being too harsh. But not in what you told her or in your demands, but in the fact that you haven't broken up with her. Seriously, cut her loose. She's not what you want in a relationship. You're not compatible. You're being cruel and staying with her. Also, if she's desperate enough, she might try to get pregnant to put you in this situation. So break up with her like, yesterday. I think y'all should just break up on the grounds of unreconcilable differences. She wants to be a stay-at-home wife, mom, nothing wrong with that. But you don't sound cool with that so y'all aren't compatible. If you want to avoid serious trouble when you move into your new house, then you would be wise to break up with her now. You are ready for an equal partnership, and she is still clinging to childhood. You deserve better. Sounds like you already know exactly what you want and are just trying to get people to tell you. It sounds to me like you don't really love her anyway so you might as well just break it off now. Hell no. Cut her loose and save yourself the 1k. You seem to have your shit together and she is just weighing you down. I don't think you need the added stress of supporting a woman child. Congrats on the house by the way. You run away. She made it clear she wants to be a stay-at-home mom, wife. She already started trying to show how good she can be at domesticity. She is never going to get a job. She is no longer career-oriented. You need to dip, because she does not want to work. Sounds like your STBX went to school for her missus degree so she could find a guy like you to pay her way for life. Don't fall for her promises to be productive. She has no intention of following through. Perhaps she's more suited for the sugar baby lifestyle. She just needs to find herself a sugar daddy. Do not have sex with her going forward. An oops baby is what she needs to trap you. You should have been ready to break up with her. To move in with someone and quit your job knowing they will financially support you is just plain wrong and sneaky. I would be careful because it doesn't sound like she would be above getting pregnant, accidentally on purpose, by you. Protect yourself and your assets and dump her. If you don't, she will continue to be financially irresponsible and you will be stuck. Seems like you got a real dependipotamus. You're dodging a bullet by breaking up and eventually finding someone with more personal motivation and more in tune with your way of thinking op. It will only get worse as she gets more comfortable. Now is the time that she will try to trap you with kids or marriage and then she'll go back to her old behavior with the added threat that if you do anything bad like tell her to get a job then she'll divorce you and take the kids. 
The only reason she went to college was probably for her missus degree and she thought you were her graduation diploma. Edit. For grammar. I am a nurse aide in nursing school. And I myself, and other friends I've worked with have legit quit a job one day, and had another within 48 hours willing to start us ASAP. Plus we are in a pandemic. There is plenty of healthcare work out there, if you are willing to look for it. No one ever paid me to break up with them or to move back in with my mom. But seriously that was your one mistake, saying you would pay for anything. You don't have to pay for others, it should be a partnership. Congratulations on the house. Was she always like this, or do you think she is freaking out about working in the medical field because of COVID? Have you asked her why she has not applied for any jobs, with an open mind, ready to offer support if that's what she needs? A friend his girlfriend and I all rented a place. He covered her end of the bills, and his, as she, mostly, pretend to look for work. She had one job for two three months. But it ended when the season did. We lived together for two years. She only worked for the above mentioned time. I knew she would keep sucking him dry. So I told them I was moving out, I couldn't watch it anymore. So the pressure for her to get a job increased a lot. It ended their relationship. The new lease was signed by her and him. But she moved out cause she didn't want to get a job. I stayed to help him with the bills for the next year of the lease. I would like to have been wrong. But I wasn't. Some people look for relationships. Some look for meal tickets. Dot. Take it or leave it fam. I'd say breakup. I'm 23 female my husband is 29 male and I can say that my husband and I have the same viewpoint as you that each partner should be able to contribute financially. If I wasn't contributing financially and wanted to play sugar baby he would have never material me. Also I like to work as I have my own pride. RNI am out of work as we just moved to a new country for his new job but it is expected that I get a job on the next few months. For now my husband decided it's okay for me to be out of work as I am finishing up my final semester but once I'm done I will be looking for work again. You should find someone who shares the same values as you, grow with you and won't drag you down. Unfortunately your current girlfriend doesn't seem to be the one. You are doing the right thing. She did a college degree and she should take some time to work and be independent. She may be of the idea that college was somewhere to find a financially successful husband to live off of. You are not that person. She's playing games and unless you still want to be playing these games forever cut her off cold. March 31st make sure your name is off the lease and all bills. Your stuff is out of the apartment and block her with extreme prejudice on your phone and social media. She isn't going to stop trying to manipulate you into being her sugar daddy so ready or not you need to end it. Run, my dude, and don't look back. You've made some really sensible decisions and have moved slowly and given her heaps of notice. You're completely right that she is immature and looking for a free ride. Your plan is caring and sensible. Of course her friends are on her side, don't worry about them.